Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell, and I'm doing this video from my hotel room in Memphis, Tennessee. See, I'm not worried about telling people where I am now because I only have one more week here and I'm done. One more week. Um, so this is the last week coming up of my last two weeks down here. And I got to tell you, last week was miserable. Not necessarily at work, but I was sick. Uh, the last video I talked about going to Orlando and then to San Diego. Well, I pretty much got sick after that. I got worn down. And I have to say most of it is my fault because I started the entire trip by not going to bed at all because I had to be at the airport at 4 a.m. You know, a friend of mine was picking me up. So I never went to bed and I just never caught up. So I was exhausted all the time. I was walking tons of steps. I don't know how many miles well, I could actually go back and calculate it because of the Fitbit. Fitbit. I could go back and calculate it, but I'm not going to. I was just walking tons, and I was keeping some of the worst hours, and I can't sleep on a plane. So I was just exhausted. I came home and went to bed, and I was cold and sick. For a while, I lost my voice. People could hear me, but barely, you know. <laughs> it was just a horrible voice. I was coughing a lot. I couldn't get warm. Uh, I was just miserable. And then yesterday, which was Saturday, some of it finally broke. Now I pretty much just have a cough, uh, but at least overall my body doesn't hurt anymore. Oh my goodness, some of the pain. I've been on so much medication trying to take care of pain more than anything else. I mean, forget about not really being able to sleep, although I spent tons of hours in bed, but I was just always in pain. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. As a matter of fact, one of the strange things seems to be that I don't have any back issues right now. Before I left on my trip, I had all kind of back issues and leg issues. And I guess because I spent so much time in bed this past week, not eating all that much or whatever, I guess really I gave the rest of my body some time to rest. So <laughs> I traded one pain for another pain, and right now I feel pretty good. So I'll take that. Anyway, I wanted to talk about some things that I'm going to miss about Memphis. And this may seem kind of cruel, but it's not tons of things. I've been here 18 months. If I actually stayed one more week, it would be exactly 18 months that I've been in Memphis. And yes, I've gone back and forth to home and, you know, had some time off here and there. But overall, 18 months getting on the plane. And it's not just one plane. It's, you know, plane to somewhere and then somewhere else. You know, I've been to Philly and I've been to Charlotte and I've been to well, New York and I've been somewhere else. Oh, Washington, D.C., where I did that one video uh, when I had to stay overnight in the airport in <laughs> Washington, D.C. So I've been to some, you know, places um, along the way and had some interesting adventures. But I want to talk about just Memphis for a quick minute here. I don't know if I've ever talked about any of this stuff. Some of it I might have, but, you know, just like I said, a few things I'm going to miss about Memphis. First thing I'm going to mention is the people. Uh, the people here at the Homewood Suites on Poplar have just been wonderful. I've gotten to know them all, and I've enjoyed meeting every single one of them. You meet some people with some interesting names. For instance, there's one young lady named Malaysia, and then there's two guys. One is named Lucky. That's his real name, Lucky. And the other guy's name is Colossus. Yes, like the statue. <laughs> so. And, you know, I've met some people with some other interesting names, but it's been wonderful. Okay, it wasn't wonderful when they lost my dress shirts, but I got to buy a whole bunch more, and they had to give me money for it. So it was all good. So that's been great. It's been nice, pretty much, working with the people I've had to work with at the hospital. And I haven't really been in a hospital. I've been in the office park. Um, and, you know, it's not that we've always totally gotten along, but for the most part, you know what? It's been friendly. I have laughed a lot. Uh, not intentionally, but I have laughed tons. And I think I've made an impact. Forget that. I know I've made my own impact. I've made a financial impact, and I've made a personal impact. And some of those folks have made an impact on me as well. So it's always good when you work with people who, you know, at least make it so that it's relatively comfortable. Um, so I will miss those folks as well. I'm going to miss a place called Fresh Market. They got a place down here called Fresh Market. We don't have that at home. And they've got these spectacular cakes. Um, I've taken some pictures of them 
and put them on Instagram. They've got something called a chocolate Napoleon. Oh, my God. God. And they have these other things that they call a tuxedo Napoleon and a tiger Napoleon. And they're these, you know, pretty thick cakes of uh, varying flavors, but most of them, all of them have chocolate in it. And they're just absolutely wonderful. And for a while they had this shrimp salad, which they used to sell at Wegmans many, many years ago. And then Wegmans stopped selling it and they were selling it down here. And then they stopped selling it. It's like, oh, come on, really? But um, I'm going to miss that. They've got another place called Frost Bakery down here that had a specialty. This is interesting. Banana nut and peanut butter cake with chocolate frosting. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. And they got a place down here called Gibson's Donuts. Now, I pretty much had to stop eating donuts over the last six months because they were driving my glucose nuts. And they were, you know, giving me the shakes. Remember, I'm diabetic. But they had this one donut. It was basically uh, the way it was initially described to me. And then they changed the description later on, but the exact same thing. A cake icing filled glazed donut. Oh, my goodness. You can, you, you, gotta, you can feel the sugar rush just by that. And then they came out with a longer one. Oh, my. I had to stop eating donuts. They were just bothering me. So I'm going to miss those things. Now, I did have trouble finding food to eat down here. It turns out that me and barbecue, a lot of barbecue, we don't agree. We just don't. Must be the grease in barbecue. And they're big on fried chicken down here. Turns out the grease in fried chicken bothers me. That and the fact that a lot of places down here infuse their chicken with hot stuff. So either it's cayenne pepper or it's hot sauce or whatever. Mitchell doesn't do hot stuff. And so I had trouble digesting this and I spent a lot of nights uh, <laughs> in distress. They don't have a lot of great Italian down here. Um, that's terrible. They don't have good pizza. What are you going to do? You know, I mean, you live in New York, and if you've been in New York, New Jersey, and you've had pizza, you're just spoiled for almost anywhere else. They don't have good Chinese down here either. But what they have? Japanese. Japanese is Japanese food almost anywhere. And this place I always went called Red Koi, right across the street from this hotel. Well, okay, it's a five-lane highway, but still, it's basically across the street. Those folks have been wonderful. They got to know what I liked. They made certain recommendations that turned out to be good. They've always been wonderful. I'm going to miss them a lot. And I'm going to miss Red Koi because I eat there twice a week. So I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss this thing called chicken pot pie soup at a restaurant called Jason's Deli. You, you can't get that everywhere. I found a Campbell's soup that is called chicken pot pie. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Just horrid stuff. But this chicken pot pie at Jason's Deli, wonderful. But we don't have Jason's Deli at home. So I'm going to miss that. Um, trying to think. Well, I did finally make it to Beale Street. And I don't remember if I ever talked about it. But if I didn't, um, I made it to Beale Street. And that was kind of interesting. Uh, when I went on a Saturday late afternoon, there were tons of people. Because I had been there before briefly and didn't see anything. It turns out you got to go down further. And in the middle of it all, a gay pride parade broke out. Absolutely, probably the most fun I've ever had in this town. That was just marvelous. Uh, I'd always wanted to see one, and I got to see it. It was everything I thought it would be. So that was fun. And I also got to see the uh, Memphis Botanical Gardens. That was interesting. That led to my eventually ending up with my fitness pal and the Fitbit because um, I got myself hurt. <laughs> we'll just say that. I had a major drop on glucose, and then the next day I had a major rise. And I did a video on that a long time ago talking about um, why I went to use the Fitbit. Um, and one of the things I'm going to miss is not necessarily the traveling, but the fact is that by traveling as much as I did, I was getting my cards at National, and I am now an Executive Elite member, which basically says, you show up, you just walk over to the lot, say, I'm an Executive Elite member. They say, take any car from there. And I've gotten to dr drive some pretty nice cars. Um, I can't remember any of them. As a matter of fact, the other day, I guess I said that I was driving a uh, Nissan Acura, and someone stared at me and said, you know, you're not driving a Nissan Acura, because those are two car brands. So I'm driving a Nissa Nissan Acura uh, for these last two weeks. Red. Red's my favorite color. But I've driven a lot of marvelous cars. I drove some lousy cars early on. 
but I've driven a whole ton of cars. So at least now I would have some kind of idea if I want to buy another car. And I, I don't really need to right now. But if I do, I now at least have some ideas about that. And probably the only other thing I'm going to miss is sometimes the temperature is actually pretty nice. I can't stand really hot days. And they had a ton of days in the 90s. Couldn't stand that. And over the winter, when everyone was telling me, oh, we have naturally warm winters. Well, last year, the temperatures got down into single digits, and these people freaked. As a matter of fact, they freaked when the weather, uh, when they said we may have snow on a day, they canceled school because they might have snow. <laughs> Are you kidding? But that's how it is when you're down in the south, and they don't have the snow removal equipment. They don't have the salt and everything else to put down on the road, salt or sand. Um, so it's kind of a unique thing. Uh, to deal with when you're from the north and you know it is what it is um, but that's pretty much it I mean I'm not missing tons I mean I have to admit people have been really nice but there's been some things I really haven't necessarily liked I haven't liked the fact that almost anywhere you go in Memphis almost anywhere you go at some point you're gonna run into homeless people um, probably not the hotel but I've gone into restaurants and come out and there's homeless sitting there begging you for money or asking if you could feed them. And I have, you know, paid for some meals for some homeless people. You go into a drugstore or, you know, you come out, whatever, and there's a homeless person there asking you for money. That's just freaky. But I mentioned in my last video how downtown San Diego was the same way. So, you know, the economy's not great everywhere and people want money. It's strange. Uh, people will walk in the middle of the street looking for money here. Um, that's just freaky to me. Uh, but you know what? I guess when you're desperate enough and you want money, you will do anything you want to. And when there's more people that you have to compete against for that almighty dollar, just like in regular business, they will do whatever they need to. So anyway, I wanted to do this one here. I don't know if I'll do another one before I leave. Um, I'm in an interesting spot because I've been here for 18 months in a home with sweets, which means I've been accumulating tons and tons of stuff. And three weeks ago, I sent a whole bunch of stuff home already because I knew I would be home for a couple of days. Well, now I've got to send everything else that I own has to go home. And I can, can make sure I take one bag with me, but everything else is just going to get thrown into basically two gigantic boxes and one travel bag that I bought after my clothes got lost here to store clothes in because I always had to store clothes when I went home. Uh, so I have to find out if FedEx will send that as is, maybe just wrap it in some tape or whatever. So this is going to be interesting leaving this place. Um, I've told you the things I'm going to miss. Not that I hated tons of stuff here, but you know what? I'm ready to be home, ready to be back in Syracuse, uh, ready to reintroduce myself to a whole lot of people ready to start trouble at home and get back to my Syracuse blog and all my other blogging and social media stuff, ready to get some rest. And then we'll see what the next adventure is. So this is it. I uh, just wanted to get that down on here. Probably no one's going to watch and no one's going to care, but you know what? At least I'll know, you know, maybe in 20 years when I'm trying to remember anything, someone will say, you know, you used to record videos. I did. Yes, you used to record videos. And you ought to see what you said. Okay, I'll go take a look. Okay, that's my impression of what my voice would be in about 20 years. I hope not. Anyway, this is Mitch Mitchell. Hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. And let's see where I am next time I do a video. Take care.